Hello everyone, uh, this is my second time attempting to shoot a voiceover for this video. Um, yeah, I kept wiggling my laptop and there was all sorts of weird noises going on in the background, so we're going to try it again and I'm going to try and sit really still this time. So, today's video is uh, all sorts of bits and bobs of videos from the last week or so of just doing like groundwork with the horses. Um, so now the ground's dried out again because we had that deluge and it was really wet again, uh, but now it's dried out again. So we can actually use the ground to do stuff like this, which is awesome because I love doing stuff like this with them. So, polls with Miss Nellie New. Um, so I'm just conscious of the fact that I'm trying to avoid making background noises here. Um, yes, so polls with Miss Nelly New. Uh, this is something that she really, really struggles with, as you can see. Uh, so the first time we went over these, she kicked them all over the place, bless her. Um, she gets better as we go on through the day. Tia is going nuts, as per usual. And look at Woody in the background. He's walking up and down with us. That's so cute. Oh, bless him. So Nelly New has always struggled with poems. She struggles um, just keeping a consistent pace and she always catches her toes on them and kicks them. It's just not a strength of hers really. So she did really, really well today. Um, it does help that I have sweeties in my pocket. Um, Nelly is the kind of girl who will give anything a go for a sweetie. She is very food motivated. Um, and the fan has just kicked in on my laptop when I'm trying to avoid background noises. Of course it did, because the universe... Ugh, what can I say? Anyway, hopefully this version will be usable without lots of random clanking in the background. Um, so yeah, we've been... I've been trying to do, like, one session a week of polls with them. Um, kind of like, I'm trying to mix stuff up, so my kind of plan is to do one day a week with each horse over poles, um, one day a week of uh, either lunging or long lining, one day a week of schooling, and then try and get a couple of hacks in as well. Now, that's the plan. It's not really working out like that, obviously. Oh my goodness, this was super cute. Look, look, look. She'll do it on her own in a sec. Look, yay. See, I'm telling you, she will do anything for food. This is a horse who hates poles and she just did them all on her own. She's so clever. And she's like, yeah, give me the sweeties, woman. I just did a thing. Bless her. She's so keen. Look, she's getting ready to go again. Um, there's me trying to fight the lumps and bumps in my field to put the poles in hopefully a relatively even spacing. I know I'm not nailing it here very well, but doing the best. Do you like my poles, by the way? They are, in fact, not trot poles. Um, so the third one from the left is part of an old trot pole, and the rest of them all broken fence posts, because, you know, working on a budget here, people, got to make do. Um, by this point, she's completely given up. She's completely lost interest now. She's like, yeah, I'm just going to kick them. I'm going to make her move out of my way. I'm done with this. So we mix it up and we do a little bit of um, pole weaving, a little bit of agility, practicing our bending. Uh, every time we do a single pass, she's like, sweetie, no. And I'm like, no, Nelly, let's, let's do a little bit more before we have a snack. We can't have a snack every couple of seconds. But she seems to think we should have a snack every couple of seconds, guess so. Um, yeah, I love doing this exercise with them. It's great for their flexibility. Um, if you can have a successful conversation with your horse and not get confused about when the sweeties are going to be dished out, you can kind of do like a turn on the haunches or a turn on the forehand at the end of each turn. Um, it's great for the grind manners. It's just, it's a fun little exercise. I love doing stuff like this. And I like doing this exercise mounted as well, actually. It's a really great exercise to do uh, with your horse mounted, uh, riding, I should say. I'm wording this really stupidly. Um, yep, yeah, so we did a little bit of this and 
we've been practicing some liberty stuff as well so i've been teaching nelly to run with me um and she's actually really getting into it i was really surprised because she's never been into this kind of stuff before it's probably the sweeties that have done it that's why she's interested now but i'm not complaining because it's fun so here i actually put the poles a little bit closer together for her just to see if it would make it a bit easier and i think it did make it a bit easier for her so i think next time i do pole work with her i will try and put the poles a little bit closer together to start with um i mean she has got naturally quite a short stride anyway and like i said she does struggle with this so you know we've got to try and make it achievable like i want her to get benefit out of it but i also don't want to make it impossible or frustrating for her i want it to be achievable so i need to remember that for next time um i need to remember the pacing i did for those and yeah that was really good i was really chuffed with her today she did so good for a horse who hates poles she walked over poles all on her own today and here i'm doing exactly the same thing with mr blueberry who absolutely nails it he's so good at poles um he always has been it's like he's just so good at placing his feet and he really thinks about everything um so yeah this is a piece of cake for him absolute breeze no trouble at all and we did a little bit of our trotting up practice just on the off chance that you know we might get to a show this year maybe probably not because it doesn't seem likely <laughs> I'll be honest, it doesn't seem likely, um, but we can hope. So this is a couple of days later. Um, I had a little long reining session with the boys, starting with Woody. Um, I haven't long reined a horse in a very long time, I will admit that, and I'm a little bit rusty. Um, couldn't quite get myself coordinated. As you can see, I'm not quite sure what I'm trying to do with my reins. Um, now Woody is actually quite difficult to long rein because he's very laid back. Like if I were to turn the original sound on for the video, you'll just hear me constantly saying, keep going Woody, keep going, like clucking at him and, and just trying to like encourage him on. And I don't know what that was. That was, I think I might be having a fit or something possibly. I, I think, I assume I was trying to encourage him to move his ass and kind of worked. I mean, he's, he's covering ground now, so, oh goodness, it's so bad. Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, he's not the easiest horse. He is very backward thinking. Um, give him a split second of, of a chance and he will just grind to a halt. So doesn't help at all. Um, but we mumbled our way through this. Um, I think he's looking really good, actually. Like, his trot is absolutely beautiful. His carriage is beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased with how Woody is looking. Uh, so we've been doing a little bit more schooling with him rather than hacking lately, just because we've got the ground and we can. Um, and yeah, I think it's, it's paying off. It's definitely paying off. And I'm also really relieved to see how good he's looking, um, given the fact that obviously we've been riding in a treeless saddle for the last six months. Same with Nelly as well. So I'll admit I was a little bit concerned that there might be like negative consequences of using it. Um, but so far, they both look really good. I can't find anything wrong with their backs at all. Um, and yeah, I mean, look at him, he looks great. This is a horse who's been ridden treeless for the last however many months. I don't know how many months. Oh, I screwed up. I was trying to do a change of brain here and I completely mismanaged how I was trying to do it. Um, and we got a little bit confused and we had to do a little circle and go around and try again, but it's fine, we, we fixed it. Um, but yeah. Long story short, I am relieved that the treeless saddle thing worked out, but we don't seem to have had any problems and he's looking fantastic. I'm really chuffed with how he looks here. Um, once we figure out what we're doing after that rain change cock up, um, yeah, we carry on. Oh, I was so bad. I was so, so bad. I think what I should have done is I should have crossed over him earlier because um, I kind of, I confused him. Is I just, I confused him. I confused myself. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. Um, this gets fun. Whee! 
Oh my goodness. Yeah, I dropped a ring there. He... Oh, he's such a tank. Like, he's the most confusing horse ever. I've never known a horse who can be so lazy and laid back and backward thinking, but at the same time be so explosive like that. Like, he's the weirdest combination. He's such a strange dude. I don't know what I'm doing here. I think I'm trying to figure out how to long rein a horse by the looks of it. Oh God, it's so bad. I really shouldn't put this on the internet, but yeah, it'll entertain somebody, I'm sure. Uh, so we go round for another go and you can guess what's gonna happen. Whee! I was determined not to let go of him. My goodness, I think that's the fastest I've run in months. Look at that trot though. That is a beast of a trot. That is beautiful. Oh, he's so handsome. Look how handsome he is. Um, and to finish off our session after, we had a few more goes at canter and they basically all went exactly the same way. Very explosive, very bunny hoppy, bouncy, bouncy, excited. Um, and I thought, okay, let's make him use his brain a little bit. So we did a little bit of rain back um, to finish. He's always been really good at this actually. Um, great for their backs, doing a bit of rain back and great for their brains as well. Uh, he does get a little bit confused because obviously I'm in the hedge now, so I stand still and I just wanted him to back up to me. Um, and he got a little bit concerned at one point that he was going to run me over. You'll see in a sec. He's like, you don't know where to go. You're stood behind me. Like there was plenty of room. There was like another three foot. He had tons of room, but it was, it was cute. He was being polite. He didn't want to reverse into me. And he was like, he didn't know where to go. So that was cute. So I gave him a little butt scratch to tell him it was okay. Um, and here we're doing exactly the same thing with Mr. Blueberry. A little bit of long raining in the gorgeous sunset. How lush is that? Um, I didn't actually think about it at the time, but I positioned that camera really well for this, didn't I? Um, so Blue is a lot easier to long rain than Woody because he is naturally more forward going. Um, I don't have to keep pressing the go button with blue like you just put him in gear and he keeps going which is a lot easier it means I can worry about other things like managing my reins and actually you know trying to do something other than just keep the damn horse moving <laughs> yeah they they're all unique and they all teach me different things that's what I tell myself so blue has been back in work for a few weeks now and so far so good. He seems sound, he seems happy, he seems to be enjoying his work. Um, I'm trying to mix it up a little bit. Like I said, I'm trying to do variations. So we're doing like long reining and lunging and in hand work, we're doing pole work, doing a little bit of schooling. I'm yet to get him back out hacking yet, but I have done a couple of schooling sessions on him in the field. And um, you guys will be seeing those videos at some point over the next couple of weeks when I get a chance to sit down and edit them because yes, you guessed it, I'm behind again. <sighs> it's because I spent that weekend taking his stable apart and then I haven't really caught up and then, yeah, life, lol. Um, but yeah, he's doing good basically. Um, and this was actually my first little sit back on him thinking about it so i'm actually riding him in the long reins right now i literally tied them in a knot and i ripped the roller off threw it on the floor and i, I just hopped on him it just kind of like it was one of those moments where i was like do you know what i feel like now is the time to get back on him i've been doing the groundwork with him for a couple of weeks and it just it felt like the right time to hop on him, go for a little walk. We only did like five, 10 minutes max, just literally walking around in the field. Um, and he felt really good. He feels really strong. Um, he feels really like willing and ready to go back to work, which is good. Fingers crossed, whatever the lameness issue was has resolved itself and it's not gonna come back. I'm done with lame horses. I don't wanna deal with it ever again. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed, we are on the up. Um, and we can get Mr. Blueberry back in a good place, get Mr. Woodster back in a good place and keep them all in a good place. And maybe if we're very lucky, we might actually get to take these horses out somewhere this year. Um, although the year is running away screaming. I mean, it's mid June already, so eesh. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you soon.